Martin, you've already said in the press conference how disappointed you were in the Southampton performance. What particularly disappointed you? Was it collectively it just wasn't good enough? No, we said before the game that uh, we, we normally we would try to play it out from the back. Well, we saw Southampton play and they pressurised teams. They even pressurised Man United away from home and it came off. You know, they had a very good result. They had a draw and they could, they could have won. So we decided not to do that and then after four minutes we gave the ball away and after ten minutes we did it again and that was disappointing because you, if you can't play around teams you have to play a little bit more direct to our forward players and we could never support and we lost the ball not only at the back in midfield as well and we couldn't get in the final third and if you look at for example the Crystal Palace game uh, we had uh, Barrett had 70 or 80 touches in the final third so so we played uh, good football, second half against Crystal Palace, and with the same team, we managed to come up with a game like this. You know, so that, that was that was very disappointing. The fans were incredibly disappointed that it seemed to lack any kind of spirit. It lacked cohesion, and they were criticising all of the players effectively for for not wanting it enough. I, I don't think that's true necessarily. What, what's your take on that? My view on that is that sometimes uh, supporters can be right, but I've played uh, four or five hundred games myself and sometimes you work your socks off and you look like uh, somebody who can't play football, who is not interested. And we've got a couple, you know, if you look at Dimitar, for example, Brian Ruiz, even Kasami sometimes, we've got a few players who, who look a bit... Uh, body language is not... Body language is not great, but on the other hand, uh, if you look at the Leicester game, for example, and we had a great away support that was amazing, you know, there was a, a lot of uh, film supports and they saw us work in the second half, come back into the game, so there was not a lack of application uh, because that is what But you made nine changes in that game you took out you made nine changes so but Dimitar was not playing so the body language was probably a bit better but don't forget that uh, Beretta's body language is not great since he's 18 probably and I know him but he wants to be uh, in our team he wants to play for us he never said to me that he wants to get away because that is uh, a few people talk about mm. it he's, he's, he's not having a great season so far though is he he's not no, in Baratov his best form is always the same if we got the result Baratov is the best and if we don't have a result people will say that Baratov is probably the worst and he's strolling in the park so we talk about it you know and, and I know he wants to play he, he wants, wants to, to play win. for Fulham you know and he's happy to play for us you know he's got a good life here he wants to, he wants to play here he wants to stay here Hopefully he can uh, score the goals that he uh, he's capable of scoring. But don't forget that sometimes if you play up front, if you don't get the right support, and the second half people didn't see it, but I tried to repair the damage against Southampton and it was 2-0 and it stayed 2-0. I mean, if you are uh, having a bad day on the day like we had against Southampton, because it was not a different team, it was the same team as played against Crystal Palace and they worked yeah. the socks off. So hopefully it was a one-off. and I. I, I can confirm you that that we had talks, we spoke about it, we had meetings, and yeah, tomorrow we have to come up with a surprise result. And, and of course, it's not easy because Man you United, say surprise because it's Man United. Because it's Man United, and I don't think Fulham managed to win a lot of games against Man United away or home. But of course, we did in the past, and we we have to try to do it again because we did it before. Uh, there's, there's other teams probably struggling and uh, hopefully we will get out of, of that position because it's not a great position to be in. Uh, we are 14 or 15 in the league and we would like to be as arrogant to say that we've got a good team. Yeah. We want to be better but we have to find the blend, the balance and the right uh, mentality and not uh, play in a style like we played against Southampton. Historically Craven Cottage has been a very difficult place to come, sometimes called a fortress. It hasn't been that way for a few months now, even with the win against Stoke. Can you put your finger on what that is? Is it a lack of confidence? What what, what has made the difference, the even difference, though the form away from home has changed? The difference is if you can see the goal, and that sometimes we can see that, uh, cheap goals. And then you have to open up and you have to play in their half. And I told you before, we haven't got, we haven't got, although I think with Kieran Richardson and with Fernando Amorobieta, and I've got Elsot now, Sphere teach. I think we've got the players now to, who are quick enough to defend a, a bigger space, mm -hmm. you know, because that is the problem. If you concede a goal at home, you will make it difficult for yourself because we have to open up. And in the past, we could always soak up the pressure, even at home, and it was a different style. But uh, of course, I don't want to change our style uh, overnight, but uh, I feel that. 
uh, don't uh, stretch your imagination, please. You know, it was not that we are uh, we're always top four or top five. We are good. Team. Exactly, four teams. I think we've not got a better position. players than ever before. Better players than ever before. But we have to find the right balance. And I feel that uh, with the players we've got, we will find the right balance, and we will stay in this league because that is the first thing, you know. And how many years? Before could we could Fulham say that it was easy to stay in the league? Now the first six months, most of the time, were difficult. Two years ago, when we had these players, it was probably easy. We were always in the top ten, and I think we will be there again, and people will be happy because my main uh, priority is to make our fans happy, and they can be critical, but there will be a time that they, that there will be. Uh, uh, very fond of me again, but the players they have to do it for me, and and I think I find the right players because I think our fans are happy with the players we've got. They and the players are happy. There is a good team spirit. No, there, of course, players are not happy if you lose games, mm. but the, the players are still fighting for the team and they fight for me. There is no uh, uh, lack of application, and if there is a lack of application, of course I will be the first one to say, you know, let somebody else do it because they are the main thing. The fans and the club. That is the main thing. It's not me. But I want to do well here. My players want to do well here. The only thing is the fans, especially away fans, they were unbelievable. And hopefully the home fans will be right behind us, not behind me, but behind us. And if they are right behind us, they will be the 12 men. We get the results and I will be in the same boat again in the future. And just finally, an update on Breda's injury and also obviously Hugo Rodriguez, who had to come off against Leicester after those two great goals. Hugo was a big disappointment because he scored two goals every time when he played, he did well. So he was fighting for his place and that was the evidence that players like Hugo, Georgie, they are still in our boat, you know, they want to fight for the club, they want to stay here, they want to play here. But now Hugo had his injury, he will be out, hopefully not for a long time, but it will be at least weeks, you know, and that is uh, what he... Uh, and he was very disappointing. I saw him after the scan and he was almost, you know, with tears in mm. his eyes and he was so disappointed because he was playing well. But, uh, of course, that is what I want. I want the players who come on, like Derek Boateng, Giorgio Karagounis, uh, Aaron Hughes came back, you know, they all... We, we, we fought for our lives, but it was not enough because if you make the individual mistakes like we did on the first two goals, it's not... Even when you score three goals, it's not uh, easy to win games. But, OK, that... That game is gone now, we have to focus on uh, the next couple of games and, and we have to start with uh, May United, but first of all... But without Bredo, the captain without is still Without Bredo, because he's still got a little problem, he hasn't trained with us, today was the first day uh, that he trained with us, so we will focus on next week and let's wait what happens. But first I would like to um, ask our fans uh, to forget about uh, things and only Fulham and the club and the team is important. and. They have to get right behind us and we will have the results, 100%. We wish you luck tomorrow. Okay, thank you.